Okay, so the Denver Broncos 2023 season was full of drama surrounding Russell Wilson and the organization. Everything came to full swing on the sidelines in the week 15 game against the Lions as you could see Sean Payton ripping into Russ for something that wasn't even really his fault to begin with. Anyways, now it's been revealed that the team wanted to get under from paying Russ's guaranteed salary should he get injured so they pretty much concocted an elaborate scheme to bench him for the remainder of the season. That said, Russell Wilson opened a bit more about the situation in Denver as he made an appearance on Brandon Marshall's I Am Athlete podcast and discussed the drama surrounding his benching in more detail and the behind the scenes. What and week was this? This was in Chicago yeah. at, after halftime. And so then defense um, steps up, makes some amazing plays, and uh, offensively we make some huge plays. And then we just feel like, uh-oh, everybody's like really excited about where we're going and what, what can happen. I think we lose the next week. And then I think you called me after that game. And I just believe that we were on this journey. And so we beat Green Bay, Kansas City, we beat them. And uh, as you mentioned, that's when, as you mentioned earlier, that's when I got that call and I was like, I'm confused what's going on. And I didn't believe it at first. I was like, this, this can't be real. And I got that call that, hey, we're gonna bench you for the next nine games if you, know, you don't change the injury guarantee. So for me- But, but be clear here, they. It's, it's not, they don't want to bench you because of play. They're saying they're benching you because they want you to take out the injury guarantee. Yeah, they want, they, yeah, they want to re push back my injury guarantee and remove it for that rest of the year. So that way, if I get injured, they don't have to pay it. But that's why as a player, it doesn't even make sense to do that because you think of those Alex Smith moments and then hell, you can even go back to college like Willis McGahee, I believe it was uh, at the U one of his last games going into NFL, he tears everything in, or maybe it's Frank Gore, everything in their knee. I didn't want to set a, a precedent for players to remove their injury guarantees too as well. And so it, it, it was it was no way I was going to do that. And so when they said that hey, we're, we're going to bench you, we're going to bench you, I said, all right, that, that's what you want to do. Bro, that's like extortion. Yeah. Uh, how, like you got the NFL PA involved, attorneys involved like obviously well, like, I, I didn't want to but then then they kept saying it all the way throughout the week so then you know my agent talked to the NFL PA the NFL PA called me to ask you know and then they, they talked to the NFL the NFL was like this can't you can't this is illegal you can't do this and so then you know all the way throughout Saturday so I was just like sitting here I didn't know if I was going to play the following week. we had Monday night football against the Buffalo Bills the following week. So I'm like, am I gonna play, am I not? Like, so, 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 like, so you got Russell Wilson in his camp and then you got the Denver Broncos, everybody looking at each other. Who gonna make the first move? You gonna sign, you gonna take it? No, I, I wasn't gonna do it. You I wasn't gonna blink? No shot. I, <laughs> I ain't taking my injury guarantee. But. So now I'm sitting there like, okay, well, we'll see what happens. So then the whole week, all the way, and I get back on Monday, I still don't know necessarily what's gonna happen. And uh, on, that, on that Monday, that's when I meet with Sean and Sean's like, hey, don't forget like nothing happened. We just you're gonna play this week against Buffalo. We got a big game against Buffalo. You gotta go win on Monday Night Football. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> At this time, you're second in the AFC in TD passes, I believe. And then there's some other stats that we can throw out there, right? Because all, all year everybody's looking at like, hold on, Russell Wilson's low key having a really good year, but people couldn't understand it because mm -hmm. of the first year, right? So we're sitting here looking at this. You're second in the AFC in touchdowns and you get this call. Now take me to mindset like, y'all playing this little cat and mouse game, who's gonna move first? You could potentially be benched for the next nine, nine games. In that moment, if I'm you, I'm probably thinking, man, that's legacy, how do I bounce back from this? That's a big moment. And then Peyton said, I act like nothing happened. Like, how do you get past that and then go out there and then go on the double? We won't even get the double spin. <laughs> Like, think about it. That, was that the Buffalo game, the double spin? The, the Buffalo game, yeah. We don't get that. And then you go on a, a crazy run five games in a row against all playoff teams. All playoff teams. How do we deal with that? I think the first thing that, you know, when Sean told me, just forget about it and just, hey, you're going to go this week. And I'm like, does that mean I'm just going to go this week? Like, what's about the next week? So I'm thinking in my head. But at the same time, I think knowing that I still gotta be a professional in the midst of it all. I gotta be a pro. She better than me. Y'all go I, back, y'all put on the footage from when I was in Denver and they talk about hitting me with Calder Detrimental. Man, about 10 balls punted over the fence. What? <laughs> you better than me, boy, you talk about being a pro. 
Okay, first off, I gotta say this. This is an embarrassing look on the league and the Denver Broncos organization for how they handle the Russell Wilson situation. Kudos to Russ for standing his ground and not giving in one bit. And it's crazy because the whole narrative around Russ pretty much shifted after this incident. Prior to that, everyone in the media was blaming Russ for everything in Denver until this story got out, like we were all confused why Sean Payton was going off on Russ on the sidelines over seemingly something that wasn't even his fault. And one person on Twitter pointed this out. Had Russell Wilson clapped back at Sean during one of those sideline episodes, would the Broncos have suspended Russ for conduct detrimental to the team to void his contract and give the Broncos what they really wanted? Makes you really wonder. Anyways, what do you guys think about the situation in Denver and what Russ had to say?